cool kids. What are we doing, cool kids? Are we having a good time? You don't have to answer that question. You don't tell me, have to tell me anything. You know, I do have to tell you something, though. We are about to do another edition of Silver Coins Around the World. Yes, that's right. You heard it here first, friends. Silver Coins Around the World is back, and we're going to give it to you. Um... We left off at Portugal, if I remember correctly. And we are now at Romania because I don't have anything from Cutter. I will. We will go back to Cutter. Like Oman and Kuwait and Oh Yemen. Oh no, we haven't hit Yemen yet. Uh a lot of these places. I don't have a coin from there. I hope you will forgive me. Yeah. Um. Yeah, we'll see how it goes. Maybe by the time we get to Yemen, I'll have a coin from Yemen. Huh? <laughs> but, yeah, Romania. Romania. So, we should start with the older stuff first, I think. I think we should go with... I only have three coins from Romania. But they're actually a really cool, really cool way to show you guys how inflation works. So this is the first coin I have from Romania. And it is a 50% silver, about a quarter of an ounce, right? Yeah, under, but you know, almost. All right, so it's a good size coin. Um, 50% silver, 100 lei. Yeah. There, there you go. There's a look. And we, we got this. We got a good price on this one. I bought this back when silver was like in the 30s. No one was watching this stuff then. Yeah, I keep telling you guys, when silver goes up, that's the time to start buying this obscure stuff. Nobody's looking for this coin. And when silver's... 32 35 dollars an ounce they're looking for american silver eagles come here baby i got shiny here for you yeah i got shinies look shinies shine eva shinies hey mate <laughs> what are you playing with over there look here it's tissue paper you love tissue paper all right, you over it? You gonna get it? Yeah? Come here. Come on. What are you doing? What are you doing, girl? There you go. No. She said, I ain't doing all that. All right, anyway. Lay. 100. Now. Here's a coin of similar size, similar silver weight, little, little more fineness, and a little more silver, but 25,000. 20, you see that, you're seeing that, right? 25,000 lei. Wow. Isn't that something? Yeah, yeah. Now, this is in 1946. So, that's not a, <laughs> that's not a huge span of time, you know. This is the Dust Bowl to just after World War II. And in that span of time, we went from 100 lei to 25,000 lei. Not a good lei. And then, to celebrate, I guess, for the big, gigantic celebration, in 1995, 
they made a commemorative 100 lei coin. This is that first coin I showed you. Now this coin's a big old hunk of sterling silver. Yeah. Big old hunk. Oh yeah, I forgot to tell you guys. I paid uh, $8.12 for this thing. But it, look at that. It's nice. Eight twenty-eight for a quarter ounce of silver. About almost three tenths of an ounce. Not bad. Not as good as the other coin, but not bad. <coughs> this one. Woo. Yeah, this is made of sterling silver. It's point eight one seven eight ounces. So eight tenths of an ounce. Yeah. Hundred lay. And then if we go to the back here. 1945 to 1995, we're commemorating FAO, FAO, Fiat Panis. We're commemorating whatever that is, and there's food involved, because that's a wheat, looks like. And we got this for 13.59, so you do the math on that, um, we're firmly below melt. Firmly, we got about a third of an ounce for free on this one, I believe. Yeah, so that's nice. That's nice. Let me catch another someone else slipping on one of these. This is a big honking coin, guys. Big hunk of hunk of. So, what do we know about Romania? Well, we know it's an Eastern Bloc nation, we know uh, it was part of that whole uh, communist thing. Um, you know, they had an interesting situation in World War II, um, you know, dealings with Hitler, dealings with the Allies, um, they, they definitely wanted to keep Hitler away from the oil fields in that region, so it's, it's a very interesting dynamic if you look into it, and that gentleman here, I believe this is the last king of Romania. Yeah, I believe he was the last king of Romania. But uh, it's a, it's a very interesting story there. But we want to talk about Romania now, so let me get that up, and we'll we'll talk about that. located at the crossroads of Central, Eastern, and Southern Europe. Its border, uh, it borders Bulgaria to the south, Ukraine to the north, Hungary to the west, and Serbia to the southwest, Moldova to the east, and the Black Sea to the southeast. Now, it has a predominantly temperate continental climate, and, uh, in an area of 238,397 square kilometers, and uh, the population is around 19 million Romani people. Uh, Romania is the 20 or no, 12th largest country in Europe and the sixth most populous member of the European Union. Its capital and largest city is Bucharest, and we're not going to get into the Okay, the Danube, Europe's second longest river, rises in Germany's Black Forest and flows through the region. Now let's get to the good stuff. And it's got a rich, long history. Yeah. Uh, okay. And the monarchy. Yeah, world wars in Romania, 
bad stuff happened. Communism swept through. The more bad stuff happened. King Michael of Romania was forced to abdicate by the communists in 1947 because the Soviets came and occupied the country. Yep. Now this guy, you'll remember him. <laughs> he had a very public death. Now, but this is King Michael. Now the people really liked King Michael, as I recall. But they didn't really have a choice, did they? You know, uh, commies don't like monarchs. They don't like a lot of things. Religion either. But that's a different discussion. Okay. Um, you know who else doesn't like... Uh, uh, religious uh, fervor and uh, people who say things he doesn't like. Well, a certain uh, dictator that we're supporting right now. But I won't get into politics. And very a neighbor of this country. All right. Let's see. We wanted the uh, we wanted the Economy, there we go. That's what we like to re read off on these things. <clears throat> Romania has a GDP of around $547 billion and a per capita income of $28,189, or GDP per capita. So, it is considered a high income economy. Um, and with 70% of the uh, EU average, which has increased by 44% since Romania went into the EU. So EU's seen a 44% increase in their GDP per capita. All right, that's nice, isn't it? They've, uh, they had a bad time after, you know, the, the commies left. They were run out of there, shot, killed. Um, but after 2000, once you know, once they started figuring it out, how not to be commies, they've had a relative macroeconomic stability. Uh, characterized by high growth, low unemployment, and declining inflation. That's, that's nice. Man, maybe we should have the Rom Romanians come and tell us how to fix that inflation <laughs> yeah well you know don't print a bunch of money right um, anyway guys that's enough on uh, Romania very cool you know I remember uh, <clears throat> while I was in the army I got to be in the Balkans I never went to Romania but I've been to you know um, Hungary and Kosovo and Bosnia and Herzegovina, Croatia, Bulgaria. I've been in the region. I'm not saying, you know, I know how Romania is. That's not what I'm saying. I'm just saying, eh, I got an idea. Yeah. Really cool architecture until you hit the Iron, you know, the uh, Iron Curtain days when everything was very functional and not very nice to look at. But, but the old stuff, you know, the, that, that wasn't destroyed by the commies. It's nice. Anyway, have a great day. Hope you find all the collectibles of your dreams while you're awake. And uh, if you don't find them, don't blame me because I tried to show them to you. <sighs> like, share, subscribe. Peace out, guys.